So, uh, during the course of uh, winter climbing, uh, the picks on your ice axe will inevitably get worn down, um, especially in mixed climbing, but also uh, ice climbing if you're climbing thin ice and the pick is hitting rock behind the ice. Um, so obviously you can change the picks, but before you uh, wear them down so much that you need to change them, you, uh, you obviously sharpen them, which of course then uh, continues to wear them down. So I'm going to show you two ways of sharpening uh, your picks. Uh, one specifically uh, useful for mixed climbing and another one specifically useful for ice climbing. So you can see here the picks that I've got. These are my old ones that I've replaced because they're too short. You can see that compared to a, um, compared to a uh, new pick, uh, they're really quite, uh, quite short. Especially this one here, it's probably a difference of about um, nearly two centimetres. So when, once your picks get too short, it doesn't matter how sharp they are, you're never actually going to be able to reach the, uh, the placements because you won't get the clearance uh, to actually get the, um, the pick where you want it. Um, but I'm going to demonstrate um, how to basically uh, sharpen this pick here that you can see has a very very blunt uh, and rounded end uh, and make a, uh, a good mixed pick. So you can see there that the, um, the pick is completely flat and broad at the tip and I've uh, just uh, enhanced these uh, first two teeth beyond the, on the, beyond the pick and uh, basically what happens there is that um, if you hit it against the rock it shouldn't wear down quite as quickly because it's not actually sharp in this plane and uh, you've got a really nice positive edge for gripping but then of course if the front pick slips off or moves around you've got these secondary teeth that are really positive to help you grip uh, small edges. So moving on to um, uh, making this really dull pick into um, a good uh, pick for ice climbing <coughs> I'll get started. So there you can see that the pick has a really positive uh, edge. It's been filed in this direction and this direction to give a nice um, sharp point. Uh, the bottom tooths have been sharpened up to give better grip as well. But you may notice here that the, uh, the first tooth I've actually filed this way and this way to make it so that it slices into the ice well 
and then giving a nice st st uh, steep uh, back edge here for good grip. Uh, I fouled along the top to make this end a uh, reasonably uh, positive sharp edge uh, and that helps you get the ice, uh, the pick out when you're wiggling it around to remove the pick. Uh, but as you can see, uh, although this is going to be you know, good and positive uh, uh, for first time placements in ice, as soon as you start hitting it against rock, um, the very, very narrow point at the end is going to blunt in uh, extremely quickly. Uh, just one more thing, uh, so what some people do with their picks uh, to make them better in ice is to file them flatter, uh, sorry not flatter, just thinner at the front like this, um, and it makes it narrower uh, and you'll get your pick in um, more easily, but of course the uh, drawback of that is that uh, it makes it uh, weaker and so you're more likely to bend a pick or snap the pick. So there we have it. The uh, mixed pick and the ice pick. Happy climbing!